Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Nikki, your boy, Crying. Episode of The Walking Dead series. Here we go. Now, let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. Yeah, as fast as we can. No shit, Blue. Hold on, man. Open the gate. Slam on me. Yeah, chill. Ooh. I found the bastard! Are we going to die? No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Mm. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Come on. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. Is, is there really an officer right there? My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. No, not for a while. Looks like you cut the shit out of yourself. My leg, yeah. It's hurt pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. Oh, damn. She's should alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Or did he just walk? Yeah, he just. He didn't. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. That's it. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, dude. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's... Well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. 
I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Well, you don't say much. Wish I had five just like you. What did you say your name was? Mm, it's, it's Lee. Me. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I don't even remember. It's yeah. crazy back there in the city. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? Mm, she's safe. She's now. safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. But what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. <laughs> Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Mm -hmm. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Shut well, up. I need a good, good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Yes. Can go here? Oh, it's a trap. So, can I talk to you, little kid? How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Choo-choo! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! 
<laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. In Stockton? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. Okay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. God damn. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. Mm -hmm. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, mm -hmm. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Maybe. Hope so. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Question. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. <laughs> we'll lock this place up good. Just standing there. Seems like those two are getting along. Carty is good with her. Yep. He seems like an alright dude. Same. He's working on his truck. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Yeah. Hey there, girls. Um. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, mm. not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. Oh, we teacher. need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Mm -hmm. And he just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Mm. Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. Mm -hmm. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. <laughs> it's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. 
Mm, Clementine is a power spreader. Mm. Okay, what should I do then? Mm -hmm. Talk to. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Mm, you need help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I I'm think okay. I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna faze us. Yeah, so what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. In his boat. So what should... There's a loan in the instrument, but okay, it's fine. No, oh, there's a guy in there. Uh, hello? What's up, Virgil? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. What? I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have mm -hmm. told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon mm -hmm. with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Mm hmm. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, what is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Why? Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, when I start checking the attitude, friend. No! I'll get my gun! What happened? Please help me, please! 
Yeah, I won't help you. No, no, no! Oh no. Get out. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I did. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Gladly. I'm sorry though. It wasn't my fault. You should... You should go now. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. That's about it for this episode guys. Sorry for the clip. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.